Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and we are playing Democracy 3. A, let's call it a government simulator where we will pass laws, change taxes and do all other kinds of things to annoy our fellow citizens of the country. We are playing and a little disclaimer in the beginning, this is a political game. So it will be heavily, heavily influenced by my own thoughts and uh, on politics. So if you are easily offended by people having a certain uh, political mindset or can take a bad pun, then you should not watch this because this is this, this is happening. This is happening. Um, not everything also what I'm doing might necessarily reflect my thoughts on it. Sometimes I will do things in the game to stabilize something that I probably wouldn't approve otherwise just don't take it so seriously okay that's all I ask of you uh, and otherwise enjoy we're just gonna jump in right now we're gonna start a new game and I will quickly explain the mechanics um, we we'll play as Germany because well I'm German why not why not I might understand the German people I don't know so uh, we got all these nice Data. We can play as uh, the UK, France, the United States, Canada, and Australia. We're gonna go with Germany, though. Okay, let's play Germany. Um, well, we can set our party name. Um, of course, it's not the secular party. No, it's the Weasel Zone. Of course, it's the Weasel Zone. You silly guys. And the opposition. Well, well, is the I guess National Front. Yeah, why not? Um, term length for years. No term limit. Uh, we don't have hurricanes. We don't have earthquakes. Uh, and not a monarchy. And this all sounds pretty German to me. Yes, we don't have a term limit and a term length for four years. That's 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 German. Yes. Um. Okay. Sorry. I had to change something on the microphone. Okay. Now, if you don't know the game, don't be, don't be afraid. Um. Oh yeah, congratulations. So this is a quick overview about our <laughs> country. Our GDP really sucks. Um, and the health system kind of works out. Education actually works pretty well. Um, crime is incredibly high, which is really surprising to me. Um, the unemployment is pretty high, be probably because of the really shitty GDP of the economy that's really in the trash. And uh, the poverty. That goes hand in hand, usually. Well, let's begin our term of office. So don't be afraid. I know it looks scary. It's not. It's super simple. It's just a lot. Um, I love the interface. It's 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 beautiful. So um, as you can see, there are several areas marked with lines, uh, like a cake. It's not, not like a cake, but it's well separated. We got public services, law and order, transport, foreign policy. Um, yeah, foreign policies, um, welfare, economy, and taxation. Um, those are the areas, the main areas. We have uh, in the middle um, bars of people <laughs> of the different demographics and how much they approve of our government, how much they like us. Um, so, for example, the capitalists really don't like us. Oh, I'm sorry. And, uh, 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 and But the environmentalists really do like us. So that's something. Um, we can pass certain laws. Um, or, well, yeah, we can pass laws um, or set taxes and those things can be changed on the white circles. For example, we have the tobacco tax. Click. And this will open up a window and it will show us, uh, it will give us a slider where we can increase or decrease the tax um, and it will show us how this affects the different people and other things like tobacco usage. So if our tobacco would be at 75% uh, our tax, then people would definitely smoke less. It would negatively affect the tobacco usage and it would increase poverty. Even though it's green, it would increase poverty. Why? Because, well, poor people like to smoke apparently. <laughs> and, uh, well, they still will buy the cigarettes. It will just make them, well, they will, they will smoke instead of buying food. So that's bad. Uh, reverse changes. Don't do that now. Um, the blue ones are statistical things. So with the white ones, there are certain laws and taxes and things I can change. Um, for example, here, the science funding. Uh, and the blue ones will just give us statistical data, like the environment. And it will give us value over time without a number. Just the higher, the better or worse, definitely. But it's not, not like a certain number. 
Um, so that's actually kind of good. Um, violent crime is actually kind of low, is it? I don't know. It, it seems kind of low. Um, and the red ones are problems. For example, vigilante mobs. We have those. They will do lynch justice. <laughs> because apparently the police... Um, they, they don't believe in the police. The police doesn't do anything for them, apparently. So, those are things. Um, those are problems we have to deal with. In the upper left corner, we have our capital. See this? 26 political capital. It will show us what we can do. Um, for how much well political capital we have. For example, um, if we wanted to change something. Let's say we want to cut military spending because Germany having a military always works out for everyone. Um, it will cost us, if we raise the money, it will cost us 9 political capital. And if we lower it, 19. And we have 26, so that will be subtracted. Uh, yeah, no, don't, don't do that now, please. And then we will spend that. Um, first of all... Um, we get new capital every quarter. Uh, this is round based. So if I click next after I'm done doing my changes, I will be in the next quarter and see the changes. So um, it's not real time or anything like that. Or um, it's not not real time. Definitely not real time. But it's not uh, continuous. It's round based. So, well, what are we going to do now? Oh, by the way, also there's our income, our expenditures, our deficit and our debt. Um, and when the next election is. Also, we can pass new laws by clicking here with policy ideas, uh, which is separated into uh, seven uh, tabs. And we can, um, well, instigate, no. What do you call it? Install new laws. Install, that's the word. Instigate. That's the wrong word, weasel. That's not, that's not the right word. Anyway, um, also a nice thing is if we want to understand how things work, we just hover over them. For example, Let's say we want to know what does affect capitalist people. What what does affect them? A lot. A lot affects them negatively. For example, they don't like child benefits, state pensions. They don't like anything good. So screw them. Um, let's go to, well, what would affect, for example, the youth. What do they care about? Well, they care about university grants and the alcohol law. Of of course they do, of course they do. Um, also, if I click on one of these groups, oh, that also works, by the way, with um, any icon. So the petrol tax will be, um, will affect motorists, the car usage and the GDP. Um, and the GDP is also affected by a million things. The GDP is, I think, the most affected, something like this. It's insane how many things affect GDP, but it's making so, and making, well, that's making it interesting, actually. So, um, I, I forgot where I want to go. Oh, yeah, we can also click there, of course, and it will show us, for example, the middle-income people. And uh, This is a typical middle-income person. Uh, yes, it is. And religious. Oh, yeah, a nun, of course. Yes. Every religious person is a nun. So, uh, also, we have ministers. Uh, our ministers... Our cabinet, I think, um, yes, our cabinet um, also affects it and we can hire or fire them and they give us our political capital. So if they're happy and if they're loyal and their experience is high and their effectiveness is high, we get a higher capital, allowing us to change more things. To, but yeah. anyway, we get new in the next round and we're now going to change things. So what's the first thing that I wanted to change? Um, what about alcohol? Yes. We Germans love our alcohol, our beer, our beer consumption. Well, right now the GDP is really bad. The, we have a deficit for, of 17 billion, which is not that much, but uh, nearly a, well, nearly uh, way too much debt, way too much debt. Just, just say that, 923 billion dollars debt. Oh, euros, actually euros, I'm sorry. Um, so we need to get, I think we need to get the economy going. That's, that's the plan here. At least that's my plan. So what can we do to improve the GDP? Let's hover over that to get an idea. Well, the corporation tax, for example. If we decrease the corporation tax, this would probably improve the GDP. Um, 
If I move this slide around, you see what is positively and negatively affected. Um, but uh, that doesn't change much for the GDP, mm, interestingly. What about the income tax? Oh yeah. Um, what about the sales tax? Nothing. Wait, why don't you affect the GDP? That's fine. Well, I get it. Um, uh, let's have a look. How could we improve the GDP? Well, with our productivity, of course. And our productivity is... Oh, God, by all these things. That's that's insane. So let's have a look at our policy ideas. If we can... Uh, improve our GDP. Wait a second. I think there's a thing we can change. Um, where would that be? Let's have a look at productivity again. Wait, is that productivity? No, that was technology. Productivity, there we go. Uh, I'm looking for, um, well, maternity leave. Yeah. yeah, they're getting full pay. If I decrease that, that would increase. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Um, I don't think we'll go for the GDP right now, but we will definitely increase our sales taxes to, let's say, 30%, which is kind of a lot. Um, but we need more money. Definitely need more money. And this will definitely hit the economy more, but in the next round, which I'm clicking now, we will decrease the income tax. So it will level it out. They will pay less taxes, but... Uh, uh, um, well, less tax, income tax, but more when they buy stuff. So if you buy more stuff, well, you get the idea what I'm thinking here. Anyway, this is our quarterly report where we will ban same-sex marriage. No, we won't. That, that's, that's, uh, it will give us the question if we want to do that or other things it will ask us. Um, of course, allow marriages. There's, there's no good reason to ban same-sex marriage. That would be ridiculous. Um, and it is definitely allowed in Germany, so just to be just so you know also it's a good thing um, budget report yes it will show us uh, all these well super interesting graphs um, you don't need to worry about that right now oh I closed it damn it I closed my quarterly report um, it will also give us like a really quick overview how the GDP is doing anyway our deficit is only at 1 billion which is actually kind of neat um, I'm surprised but um, we definitely need to decrease the income tax. Uh, we increased the sale tax, but we're not gonna lower the income tax to 25%. Yes, it is at 40. The German income tax is ridiculous. Um, um, we're gonna reduce that to, well, we could reduce it to 30. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna risk it. I'm not gonna, well, I'm, I have to. I have to decrease it a little bit. Or... It's always hard to make these changes. Apply the changes. Confirm. There we go. So, what else did I want to do? Yes, the GDP. How else could we positively affect the GDP? Ah, yes. With science funding. Uh, science funding is always a good thing. Especially if the uh, economy is doing bad, you need to spend a lot of money, which seems kind of odd you don't make a lot of money but that is usually the time you should invest a lot of money in things like science funding uh, edu education for the long run and you'll, you, you'll see you'll see at least I think it should work um, here I hope um, so we will definitely improve that um, as you can see it should increase the GDP um, state employees so that will definitely reduce unemployment that's good and increase technology. Okay, let's go with that. Um, so how much more we have? 13. So let's see if we can do something about the poor people. Uh, give me that. Economy. Welfare. Welfare. Let's let's see. Rent controls. Ooh, that's actually quite popular with voters. But I don't need something to be popular with voters right now. Because. Because. Well. There's no election, so I can do whatever I want. I, I will I will save that um, before the election and make myself popular or something along those lines. Um, state housing, no, that's too expensive. Um, what about food stamps? 
Yes, food stamps is a system where the state will issue vouchers or stamps to those citizens on low or no income to ensure they are able to afford food. God damn it, cat. Yeah, my cat wanted just in. Uh, wanted in. I'm sorry. Um, okay, let's implement food stamps. Um, that should help the poor. Let's do that. Let's go to um, that. Yeah, it helps poverty and um, it helps poverty and poor people will like us more. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go. Yeah, 2.5 high. That's good. Let's do that. What else we got? Um, car emission limits. Uh, there was something about the emission limits. Um, I want to help the industry a little bit. We have very high pollution controls. Uh, restrictions and fines. Yes. Um, we want to, well, go down to GOVT targets. Uh, about this. And it will um, less negatively affect the GDP. Um, it's not good for the environment, but the environmentalists are really happy with us. Uh, we can piss them off a little bit, but we need to boost our GDP. And if that is high, we can we can go back to the pollution controls and uh, increase that. But right now, uh, uh, Mother Nature has to take one for the team. Okay, good. So I think we're golden now. We're gonna go to the next quarter and let's see how that plays out. Okay. So our GDP, there, there's, the changes take some time. They're not instantaneous. Uh, they take like a few uh, months or weeks, depending on what it is. So poverty is going down. Good. Um, the GDP, yeah, it's continuously going down because, well, the economic isn't. The global economy is in a recession. Yes, this is having a negative effect on our GDP. Yeah, that's a problem. Debt protection law. What do they want from me? Tell me. Um, have been in use because aggressive methods they are using to extract payments from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. Well, there's a reason they don't lend people money because they are not credit worthy and they will probably have high, well, rates. Um, are preying on the weakest and poorest in the society, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates that can, can never be repaid. Well, uh, it's just delaying the inevitable. Um, so yeah, let's let's limit them. Uh, why not? That's actually a good thing. If you're not able to pay for your livelihood and you're taking a credit with high rates, well, chances are you're not gonna be able to pay those rates very long. Or you have to take another credit and so forth. Uh, people with several credit cards will probably know what I mean. Anyway, uh, the cabinet report. Loyalty of ministers can be described as trustworthy. That's also something I get. And the security briefing. Um, I haven't looked too much into that, but it basically tells us um, if there are people out there that want to harm us or uh, well, assassinate us, something like that. And the membership of different uh, membership of different groups, like the Human Rights Society, and if that's decreasing, and what the threat is. So now that we got that, uh, we still have a really big deficit, even though we increased the tax uh, taxes. Of course, no big surprise. Um, what about the military? Yes, we're spending 14 billion per quarter on the military. Well, there's a thing about the German military; it never works out for us. Apparently, I mean, nobody likes the Germans having a military. It's light defensive. Okay, I'm not too worried. Let's just, I mean, I don't think anyone would invade Germany. Um, and if we will just ask America for help, uh, our friends, they will help us, right? I mean, of course. Okay, so yeah, let's go to ceremonial only. I don't, I'm not a big fan of keeping military around, so let's apply changes. Yes. I mean, if we were rich, we could afford a military, but we can't. We, we simply can't, and military has to go. I'm sorry. So the poor tend to like us more, according to this graph. So do the liberals and the socialists. Uh, but the religious don't like us. What a shame. What a shame. Anyway, we're going to continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Democracy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It really helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue in the next episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.